Greetings and welcome to the John Show Inc. And we're going to do a, uh, I'm going to give you my reviews on these uh, 12 AX7 vacuum tubes. Now, on the right here, I have the Tong Sol gold pin matched pair. Well, there's one here. I have the other one put away. In the center, I have this uh, stock Chinese brand. There's actually no brand. It's no name. It's just as China. Uh, and it came with the uh, the phono preamp that I purchased. The um, Joaquin MS23B RIAA vacuum tube phono preamp. Okay, I'll show you that in a minute. Um, and then on the left here, we have the uh, Genelex Gold Lion gold pins. Okay? When I first got my phono preamp... It came with those two Chinese tubes, these two ones in the center here. Now, let me let me just uh, actually before I do that, let me see if I can get this on camera. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of dark in here. Uh, it can't. All right, it's a glare. I'll have to take the camera off the tripod and zoom in in a minute. But I don't want the camera to shake while I'm talking to you, so I'll leave it there for a minute. So I started off. These Chinese tubes came stock in the uh, Phono preamp. And when I used it, it sounded good, no problems. Uh, I do know that like stock tubes, especially no brand name, you kind of want to change those out uh, soon to, to put something better in there that goes with uh, anything that consists of taking vacuum tubes, whether it's a, re a stereo receiver, phono preamp, guitar amplifier, guitar pedals. Um, I have all those that use uh, require vacuum tubes, specifically 12AX7s amongst others. Now, I, I, I bought these Tung Sol gold pins and I swapped them out with the Chinese ones in my phono preamp. I noticed a, a big difference in the sound. It was more mid-rangey. Um, it, it sounded richer and the tone sounded clearer, more harmonic. It sounded better. But the EQ on these Tung Sol gold pins was like mid-rangey. It had like this 1K, 2K hump in the sound that kind of like hurt my ears. It bothered me. I get ear fatigue after listening to music for a good half hour or 40 minutes. And uh, I would have to take a break or lower the volume a lot. I have a 20 band EQ. I tried EQing it to get rid of that sound. I can get rid of that, that sound that hurts my ears, but then I lose detail. I, I lose clarity. So it's, you know, I figured... I went back to the Chinese ones. I took the tongue soles out and put them on the, away, you know, in the shelf, and uh, just went with the Chinese ones. Then I, then I, heard, I, I thought, you know, I researched, and you have to have some break in time, and your ears have to adjust to the sound. So I said, okay. After about five or plus years of using these Chinese ones, I figured they're pretty much cooked anyways. It's, you know, it's time to change them out. They still work, but I'm sure they're, they're not as good as they were the day I, I bought the phone a preamp so um i swapped them out again for the tongue soles put them in i've had them in for a while uh, maybe a year maybe a little more and i did adjust to them they did open up and and uh warm up a bit but they still gave me that ear fatigue sound uh i wasn't sure when they were in if it was the tube or if it was the eq or the speakers i was taking my Sirwin vega at12s and i was lowering and adjusting the mid-range and the tweeter uh, I, I can get rid of the harsh sound, but then I lose detail. Like I said, I like that detail, but I don't want the harsh sound. So about a year ago, when I first had these in, these tongue soles, about a year ago, I bought uh, some Genelex Gold Lines, Gold Pin. Put them in. Wow. Amazing. It was like day and night. It sounded so good. It was detailed. It was warm. That harsh 1K uh, um, EQ was, was not there. So my, there was no ear fatigue. It was nice on my ears. The clarity, the depth. I, I noticed that um, when I listen to some songs that I've heard for 40 years, maybe more. I'm pushing 50. So I've heard some, some stuff I've been listening to my whole life. I play it with those goal lines and... There's um there's detail and, and there's some instruments and sounds that I'm like wow I never noticed that before, it gives the music so much depth. It's like hearing it from these tongue souls or from these Chinese. It's like it's flat. The music sounds good, sounds clear, sounds nice, um, but it's it's flat sounding. Sounds like it's coming out of a speaker or a wall or something. 
these gold lions, it sounds like you're in a concert hall and there's like reverb and just so much detail with, with s some sounds in the music that you never really noticed there. I mean, I'm sure it's been there and you hear it, but you never noticed it like you do when you listen to it through the gold lions. So if I was going to rate one to 10, the Chinese ones were a five. Tongue Souls, probably a seven. They'd, they'd be closer to an eight if it wasn't for that harsh 1K. Gold Lions, they're the best I've ever heard. I don't know if there's a 10. I would give them a 9 because I'm sure there's always something a little better somewhere. But they're a 10. They're up there with a... They're a 10. There's nothing better. So they're a 9 to a 10. I highly recommend them. Uh, the Tongue Souls sound good. I mean, don't get me wrong. You might like them. My, my, the cartridge I'm using now is a Nagalka MP200. They, that's a little mid-rangey, that cartridge. So... Maybe just with the cartridge with the tongue sole, it was just too much mid rangey. Maybe if you had like uh, like a different type of cartridge, I, I had a Sure M M ninety seven XE cartridge before, and the tongue sole sounded good with that cartridge. It wasn't too mid rangey. It was actually it was a good fit. But now I got this other cartridge. These gold lines are perfect. It's a perfect match. I highly recommend them. Let me show you. Let me zoom in so you can see. Okay. All right, so this is what they look like if you get if you get a little up close. Sorry for the shakiness. Let's focus. There we go. Well, it was focused. Okay, so you got. Let's start with. Um, let me get this tripod out of the way. You got these Chinese tubes. Let's start first with the Chinese tubes. Okay. This is a bit of focus. Doesn't want to focus on me. I don't know. It doesn't want to focus. Hang on. All right, whatever. It doesn't want to focus. It's being a pain in the ass. But anyways, so this is what the tubes... Oh, this is a real pain in the ass. I'm sorry. It doesn't want to focus. It's being a real pain in the ass. But uh, there we go. Yeah, this is them. I mean, this is the gold lines, right? Made in Russia. I don't like buying stuff from Russia, especially now. Um, but these, these are nice. These are nice. And uh, these are the Chinese ones right here. And these are the tungsels, which were also made in Russia, I believe, unfortunately. Yeah, it says it, it's hard to see, but it says made in Russia right there. These are faded. I've had them in there so long, they've been, they run hot. So, because I, I turn on my phone up preamp about a half an hour before I play music just to let the tubes warm up. And uh, yeah. And this is the box the Gold Lions came in, which is not focusing again. What's up with this phone? I don't like to focus. Here we go. Okay, it's the box. It's picking up, I think the blanket. It's probably picking up the blanket. But uh, that's on. But yeah, that's them. And this is the tongue sole gold pins that I got. See? That's the box they came in. Match pair. It says it right here if it ever focuses. It's ruining my video here. There it goes. Tested and matched. Guaranteed. All right. And that's the tubes. Now, I'm running them into my um, phone preamp here, which is the uh, Joaquin MS23B RIAA. And uh, these... Um, Metal canisters here. This is the shielding. There are tubes going there. And uh, it sounds sounds good with those. The gold lines are in there now. I got my um, Techniques turntable. I don't know if you could see it there, the model. But it's the uh, SL1210GR. It's my Nagalka MP200 cartridge. Okay, and stylus. You see it there. It's a little dirty. Um, that runs into the Phono preamp, which runs into... The uh, Pioneer SG9500 20-band EQ, which runs into my Pioneer SX1250 receiver. One of the best sounding receivers ever made, especially in the 70s and especially by Pioneer. I know there's ones that are more money and more powerful and bigger and prettier, but this one, hands down, the best sound. Best sound. You could pay more to, make things, to, to buy something that's a little prettier, like the 1980. Uh, which is nine, which is going for ten thousand dollars. This one's going for between three and four. Good. This one's probably closer to four because it's in really good, excellent condition. It's never been opened, never been messed with. 
it's still running since 1976 knock on wood um hopefully it keeps going but uh yeah it's it sounds amazing this whole setup sounds perfect and these twos was just the final the final fig leaf in it so that's them yeah so you can see right there made in russia general x uh the, there's a line ecc83 it's, it's focusing now here's the russian one i mean the chinese one made in china no no brand just a chinese tube stock tube and it wasn't bad it actually wasn't bad i'm i'm impressed i've heard ones that were really like the jj electronics Electro harmonics, I don't like those. I think they sound like shit. In my Fender Twin, the JJ Electronics do sound okay. Uh, Electro harmonics, I don't like. So yeah, this is the Tongue Saw Gold Pen. It's faded out, of course, from the heat and playing it so much. Uh, but that's them. And I, I yeah, I, I'm a General X Gold Line guy from now on. I originally bought these. I bought two of them, match pair, for 150 bucks a year ago, and then I returned them. And then I just bought four of them now for like two twenty four, so it's like seventy bucks less. So they went down in value a little bit, which is good for for anyone who wants to buy them. Now I guess now would be the time, or a better time than last year. And uh, the pin, if you look at the pins, of course the Chinese ones are or metal, uh, silver, or whatever they are, not silver, but uh, steel or some type of metal. But yes, these are gold pins. This is the uh, Tong Sol gold pin, and if you look at the Genoix gold pin, the gold looks a little different. Uh, it's, yeah, the, the tongue soul's a little more yellowy. I don't know why, but but uh, yeah, these are definitely legit. The sound tells you right there that they're legit. So that's my review. And uh, yeah, the uh, tongue soul gold pins sound really good, but they, they have this um, this 1K on the, on the EQ that really gives me ear fatigue and it bothers my ears the chinese ones they don't have that but they they only they only sound so good because they're like uh, an off-brand and these are the these are them this is the way to go right here what a difference in harmonics everything i highly recommend the general x gold lines gold pin till next and uh the music i've been playing has been through the tongue soul this past year so you're going to hear music from now on through the gold lines probably from now on forever <laughs> uh through the gold lines uh so if you see like the same song twice or something i've changed my whole system i've got a different turntable i've got these different gold uh pin um vacuum tubes so the sound and, and different cartridge so the sound changes a lot so i i like to play uh some stuff often and every time i change the setup i i also play something again just so you can hear the difference i i don't i'm not high tech with the a b comparisons and with the videos i just do a i film off my phone and as i i don't like bring i don't make i don't want to go digital i want to keep everything analog so i don't want to send it through a processing through filters through a computer to do these a b comparisons and stuff because then you're losing all the dynamics and the sound i want to give you that vintage 70s sound and i keep everything analog i don't want to go digital I'd rather you get the reverb from the room I'm playing in and keep it analog than go digital so you can have it filtered and it sounds clearer. Because then I'll just might as well play freaking CDs for you. You know, there's a, there's a reason for going through records, going through an analog system. There's a system right there, strictly analog, into my AT12s, Sermon Vega speakers. Until next time, that's the video. Enjoy the next videos. With the new, with the songs coming through those new gold lion tubes.